chasing two wild dogs. I'm trying to just hear exactly. Oh, I've got their visual. Copy, got your visual on your lock. Oh no, there's dogs, there's dogs, there's dogs. They're just up ahead, we're racing. You know how quick they are. There's also public vehicles though, so there's a bit of wind. So we need to try and get around them. But luckily for us, we can off-road, they can't. Are you ready? Holding on, Craig. Let's go. Go, go, go. These dogs are quick. So do we. We need to be quick too. <laughs> this is so cool. These are the same ones we were looking for this morning. Where are you? And we can... Oh, and, and it's on Chitwa. Fantastic. There they are. We can go in here, of course, because we can traverse. Hello. Here they are. Isn't this fantastic? And there's one of them. Now I'm not sure how many are here, but we are gonna follow them. They've just popped onto Chitwa, which is great news for us because I was worried that they were going to go east towards Torchwood, which is an area that we cannot drive on, but that looks like with the alpha male. He's massive, he's got a huge neck on him. He's now also using the luxury facilities. Hello, boy. And I'm not sure, I can't remember for the life of me what the name of this pack is, so you're all going to have to give me a helping hand. I think it's the one from this morning. So from the sound of it, it sounded like it was uh, three, three dogs. So we'll have to check. I can see the others up ahead. Right, are you ready? Here we go. It starts again. And we've got to run because if we lose sight of them, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. But luckily for us, we're not far from the Chitwa Dam and I hope we've got signal. We might actually coast. Will you tell Brent he's going to actually have to come and take over the sighting? Because I know we don't have signal for too far on, on Jigger and we don't want to lose them. So if he can come straight towards uh, uh, Chitwa Dam, we are uh, just at, I think it's called One Eye Pan, I think the one on Cheetah Cut Line uh, in Chitwa. But here they are. And here's that wonderful smell of wild dog that Brent often talks about. I wish you could smell it. But sadly, there's no smell of vision just yet. Maybe in the future. <laughs> but fantastic. So if you do know the name of this pack, I know that there are three that hang around. Is it it's not the is it the not the Invest Tech pack? That's quite a large pack. It's completely slipped my mind. Hat, hashtag Safari Live, if you know the answer. And um, we'd really appreciate that. I'm sure Brent will also tell me exactly which dogs this this group is. There's, there's two boys in this and one girl. Let's reposition again. Let's keep up with them. And the dogs are also very much relaxed around the vehicles. If they go right, if they go all the way down there, we're not going to be able to follow them anymore, unfortunately. Oh yes, there we go. Thank you, James. You said the lower Sabi dispersal. That's exactly it. That's exactly who these are. Sorry, let me get hold of Brent. Brent, Brent. Brent, if you can give me and I'm going to lose the signal at the open area. negative it's just me can you maybe call it in I'm live so Brent's gonna probably take over the sighting and he's probably gonna come and join us we're gonna stick with them for as long as we can but like I said we might lose signal here he's on his way and you know that Brent uh, wastes absolutely no time especially when there's dogs around let's catch up to them again and uh, and keep going we got to keep on their tracks like I said always in parlor I'm so excited and this is also the first that I've seen I've seen them a couple of times in this group when out tracking and just sort of doing midday that are dogs. Okay, look, 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 the dogs are here. There's an impala right here. I don't know what he's doing, but he's running towards the wild dogs, which is a very, very, very silly thing to do. I'm not sure you can see the impala just here. He's seen the dogs and I was almost certain that the dogs had seen him, but maybe 
they got lucky. My heart is absolutely racing. Don't go there, Impala. What is wrong with you? If, oh, I should be saying go there because it means a meal for one of the most endangered animals in Africa. I can't believe it. Have they gone past? No, no, he's going, he's going. Showing off how fit he is. That must mean that the dogs did not see them. Oh no. Okay, right, let's go. Are you ready? Let's try and keep up with them again. We just have to try and find a gap and jump back onto the road. Which there are very few gaps here. Oh no, Craig, we've got ourselves in a little pickle. There the dogs are just there. How did they not see that impala? I have no idea. Wild dogs. Completely camouflaged they are in the long grass. I cannot believe they didn't see those impala. Those are the three luckiest male impala I've ever seen in my entire life. I kid you not, they were about 40 yards from, from the dogs and he was going closer as well. He was actually revealing himself, which is something that prey will do to a leopard or a lion and snort an alarm. They didn't let off any sounds. I think they realized that they must have had the wind on their favor. Okay, let's go. They're going to pop out. I'm hoping there's some impala up ahead on the open area. Hello, puppies! Puppies, puppies, puppies! My favorite animal. I'm so excited. Thank you, Taylor. There we go. Hello, pups. Come on, let's go find some impala. No. It's quite funny, when the grass is very long, you sometimes see dogs jumping up on their back legs to try and see. Now, we've got two dogs in front of us, one behind us at the moment. I think this does look like the... I'm not sure if this is the low, low asabi dispersal. Those are two males, and this dog behind me is a male as well with a... Is it a male? But the dog behind me has got an incredibly dark black face. I don't think I've seen that dog before. Now, I was chatting to Grant Beverly from EWT, and there have been some other dispersal males. There's uh, dispersals from the Sands Pack. So this could be a dispersal from the Sands Pack as well. At this time of the year is when the dispersals happen. It is the mating season for the dogs. So there's lots of nonsense happening. But I, that, that, that one particular dog behind us, I didn't, re I didn't recognize at all. There, look, look at him. I, don't, I think it's a male. Look how dark that, and that wound. And it's a male. That's two, one, two. I think it's three males. This is a different dispersal pack. There's no females here. So three males. So very interesting. So what happens with wild dogs, we're just gonna let the other guys have a chance in front. What happens with wild dogs, how they disperse is that a group of three or two individuals of the same sex will leave their natal pack uh, and will basically wander around at this time of the year when the females are gonna be coming to Estrus and they're gonna be looking for another dispersal uh, group from another pack uh, that'll be made up only of females. Okay, it's getting dark, it's windy, it's going to be dangerous on foot, so we're just going to go across to Jamie quickly to say good... Oh wait, hang on. They're going to head right down to the open area now. This is perfect hunting weather. Okay, let's go to Jamie quickly while we try to keep up with them. Welcome to our schools. You are very lucky. This is very exciting. This is one of the most endangered animals on the planet. Excuse me, I've just got to get a shot of this particular dog so I can send it off to the Endangered Wildlife Trust so they can give me an ID on which pack this comes from. This is a dispersal pack of male wild dog. This is really incredible. There's only three and a half thousand left in the wild and we're lucky enough to see three of them at the moment. So a big welcome to our school. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. My name's Brent. I got Brian on camera. He's got his paperboy thumb. And now they're changing direction, they're going behind us again. And you gotta keep up with wild dogs by going up and down and around. Okay. Alina is wondering, are wild dogs nocturnal? They're not. 
they are crepuscular, well, so which means they are most active at dusk and dawn. So there we go. They are on. We're on Chitwa Chitwa now. Now, believe it or not, there's a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful setting uh, with this large water hole. They might head down there. There's often impala around here. Now, I'm just going to warn everyone. Wild dogs are very successful hunters, and what they do is they literally rip the the animal they catch to pieces in a matter of minutes. So uh, I will let you know if they. I do think they're going to catch something, and it can be quite gory. So I'm just just warning everyone. And you can see there's other safari vehicles here with us who are also following these wild dogs. There we go, there's one popping out in front of us. So they are coursing predators. So coursing predators means they basically just run, run, run till they see something and then they'll just leap on it. And Dom's wondering, what do they eat? They eat small to medium-sized antelope, uh, up to the size of a kudu, but normally impala, diker, stenbok. They love scrub hares as well. They eat a lot of those, but they are predators, so they do eat meat. Now, this is an area where there's often lots of impala, which is the most numerous antelope in Africa, and uh, the wild dog's favorite food. they're stopping they might smell the air see if there's anything around now this windy weather is very good for hunting oh, I can't see any impala up ahead there they go they're on the move again Shree's wondering, can wild dogs be dangerous? There's never been a recorded attack from a wild dog on a human. I've spent many wonderful hours on walks with wild dogs, so no, they are not dangerous. So what's happening is there's a lot of people who want to see these animals. They're really rare. Um, so I'm going to make space because we've had such a lovely sighting of them moving and give other people a chance to also see them because they are heading towards the boundary. I'm on two's first standby behind you. Make your way as soon as you get your I'll make, I'll make space. Copy. Uh, I'd say come from Gari Main and that link road that goes to Shrombi Rombe next to the Mulwanini will be the fastest way to where they are. Firm. Sorry about that guys, so I'm just keeping everyone updated. So we all work as a team. So all the other lodges, we all follow these animals together. We chat on the radio. So if I lose sight of them, Harley's going to be over there or Roy, so we can keep up with them. But we've got a bit more time while Steph makes his way here. Now these are my favorite animals. Uh, they're very exciting to follow. They're, they're very, very quickly. They can do about 60 kilometers an hour, but they've got incredible stamina. They can keep that up for up to about five or six kilometers. Okay, let's get in front again. Oh, I see ears going flat. Have they spotted something? So when they, oh, there's Impala. There's Impala right there. I'm just gonna get into a good spot. Hold on everyone. Now, be warned guys, this could get very, very gruesome. Uh, wild dogs are not known to be the nicest, or people have a bad conception about how they kill things. So there's the, the impala and the, the zebra. I don't know if they've spotted the dogs yet. So it's the only animal that wa will, wa impala will just run from. They don't even snort, they just take off. But I think they got spotted and those impala managed to put some distance between them. So there they are. Mm. 
So this is the, the favorite time of the day for them to hunt, or this in the early morning, that sort of it's pre-dawn uh, into dawn and now as it gets dark. They don't do much hunting at night. Sometimes they'll hunt at night when there's a full moon, but most of their hunting is done at dusk and dawn. Crystal's wondering how do I tell whether they're male or female? Well, the males are a bit bigger and also they have a, the same things that a, a boy dog has. Standing by. Copy, keep coming. They're heading straight towards that link. I'm just gonna stand by until you get here and then I'll leave. Okay, so we're gonna have one last look as they run off. And I just need to be on the radio again. Steph, they're heading straight to the junction with that leg. They're heading straight to Moanini. Okay, so wasn't that exciting? That is one of the most rare animals in Africa. Only three and a half thousand left in the world. It is so spectacular. You are so lucky you got to see them. But now while we give other people a chance to have a look at them, we're gonna go across to Taylor 